check it out. There's the trunk all, all leathered up. You're gonna have the filler panel over there, like we talked about earlier. That one's on there by magnets, that's on there by magnets. Even this is on here by magnets. So the amps will be wired up this week. Love it, tell me what you think. All right, so there it is, check it out. You wanna see how I did it? Pretty straightforward. I, I think it could be a little bit better, but I I'm really happy with what I did. Check it out, let me show you. Okay, so to do this job, to wrap this whole trunk in leather, now that I've got the boards all set and everything, all you need is your faux leather, or you can get real leather. This stuff matches my seats really nice. We got a razor knife, we got a tape measure, we got a marker just to mark off where it is, scissor to make the rough, the rough cuts, and then some kind of spray adhesive. I like this Gorilla Heavy Duty adhesive, it's really easy. Spray it on, spray the other side, Stick them together, it's done. Other stuff takes so long. All right, let's make this trunk look great, man. All right, so what we wanna do is we wanna measure out the, the rough measurements of this trunk, two by four and a half. All right, so we're gonna spray this, and then I'll bring this outside and I'll spray this real quick, and then we'll join the two together. Let's go ahead and spray it. This stuff sprays on kind of like clear coat almost. So now we'll go spray the backside of this. All right, now this should be nice and tacky. Any sort of little specks in here, you gotta get them out. And I tell you, this stuff works great, wow. I'm really impressed with this fabric. I've used different faux leathers before, and a lot of times they're not very pliable, and they, they wrinkle really easy, and they just don't lay right. But man, this stuff here, wow. Wow, man, that is so nice. Then we kind of want to push it down here. We get that little edge right there. Now you can use a little tool to make a hard edge if you want. But I've got the other boards that are going to be pressed in here, so I'm not too overly concerned about it. But man, look at that. Wow. So now we'll cut the excess. I spent a lot of time going through all the different, you know, the different faux leathers and this one really looks nice it stretches really good and the pattern I just really like the pattern it's just so so nice they come in different colors but I went with black because my car has three colors on it it has the candy blue it has black and it has that kind of goldish pewter kind of a bronze it's really similar to the, the bronze is really similar to the cladding that's on a Ferrari F, F430 one of my customers had one. I noticed that that silver, that pewter, was the only one I ever did that had a little bit of gold in it. And I thought, that's pretty neat, man. I'm gonna do that one day. Okay, so the next piece is sort of tricky because it wedges in and then bolts down to this one right here. And then I've got to kind of bend this down. So what I have to do is I have to wrap the base of it and then we're gonna have to glue this all in the car. And then there's a little bolt right there that goes in right there that I have to do underneath this. Sorry I gotta do this off camera, but I can't spray anything near my car because I don't wanna get that stuff on the car. All right, so since I'm gonna be spraying, I wanna mask off this area. You don't wanna get any paint on your trunk or anything like that, so. Blue painter's tape is about the best tape to use if you wanna, if you have any worries about pulling paint or anything like that. It doesn't leave any sort of residue it's it's uh this is the blue scotch 2090 um i use so much of it it just it's just a great tape boy i'll tell you what man it is a cooker out there today in florida let's put this final little screw right here so there's no bracket right here if you're doing this on a chevelle i made these little brackets to mount this to because i just wanted it that way but there's so many ways to do this now I'm gonna have to glue this pad. Now we'll spray some of this on here. And now that that's there, we're gonna bend this over. I think that I may need to trim this, this here just a little bit to get it to fit just the way I want to. But for the most part, it's, it's pretty close now. When it comes to this sort of stuff, you have to have an idea of what you want, and then you kind of go backwards from that, you know? It's like, okay, well, I know I want a board, I know I want a box in here, so how do I get that box built? So I used 
uh, half inch MDF just because that's what I've I mean I'm an old school guy I used to build a lot of speaker boxes MDF was always what I used so I know how to use it there's 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 better stuff out there I will 100% agree with anybody saying that that there's better stuff than MDF I'll put a link to that stuff it's a new plastic I just couldn't source it locally and uh, but I did find a good reliable link on on Amazon for this stuff so I'll put a link in it it's what most speaker boxes are made out of now. It's really a nice rigid plastic. And uh, I learned that from the guys on uh, Texas Metal, which is extensive metal down in Texas. Uh, that interior guy, he's so cool, man. He's so humble. He's got a TikTok channel that I follow for a while. I haven't seen him in my feed. I don't know why, but I don't know. I don't really follow too many people on TikTok because it's hard to kind of see the people you want to if you if you can't find them you know and he's he's a perfect example of that I want to see his feed but I can't find his channel you know and so it was like some weird name it wasn't like Texas it wasn't like extensive or something like that I think or something but I'm gonna try to find him again he was always quick to answer my questions like that man and to me like yeah you know the shop owners but the shop owners they have their own skill set, right? Like they know how to employ people. They got a better, they got the, the, the big vision. But it's the guys who build the car who can do the latest and greatest things, you know? Because if they can't, then your shop isn't the latest and greatest shop anymore. It's just another shop, you know? So, I mean, it's like, it's like any other kind of thing, you know? It's like to be the best, you've always got to be getting better, you know? Because what you did last week isn't going to cut it this week, you know? Because Somebody else has already done that. Somebody else is already doing that, whatever it is. You know, somebody else is already painting that color or something like that, you know, or somebody's already, I've already seen on my feeds, I've already seen people doing almost identical builds as what I'm doing. Now, I don't know if they're following my page or something like that, but I didn't, I didn't see like this stuff on somebody else's page so it's kind of like maybe we all got the same inspiration or maybe I inspired them I don't know but either way it's kind of cool it's kind of not cool though too you know because it's like man now now my car isn't so one off you know what I mean but they're not making videos on how to do this stuff you know that's kind of the risk you take when you make videos on how to do everything you do because then well it shows everybody how to do it you know but I know that I'm far from like anything special, man, when it comes to building cars. You know, I'm, I just like building them. And I hope that my content, I hope that my content is something that you enjoy, you know. It's a lot of work for me to make this content and, you know, honestly, I question if I'm going to continue to do it because it's like, I don't really get enough comments on my stuff. I get some views, but, you know, it takes away from my time for building. If I only have you know 20 hours a week to build and if I'm spending and if I'm spending 30 hours a week editing videos you know or 10 hours a week editing videos out of that 20 then well I can't I can't quite do all the stuff I want to do you know because I'm just editing videos well, yeah that's perfect all right so on this side I made some plates to go over them should fit in here just tight So the other thing we're doing, we're going to be using this Rust-Oleum undercoating. I just love this stuff. I swept this piece off. This is what the amp is getting mounted, the, 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 the two amps are getting mounted to. So we're going to go ahead and just shoot the back of this just a little bit. You're probably not even going to see it, but I just want to make sure. So we're going to, I like this stuff. It just has a nice little texture. It covers really good. Just want to kind of make sure it just lays on wet. Even consistent coatings. When, it, when you spray it on, it looks kind of weird, almost brownish. But as it dries, it lays nice and black. MDF is kind of funny. It, it sucks up a lot of paint and stuff like that once you break the surface. So if you're going to paint MDF, it's best to prime it first. 
like I said, this goes on, on the bottom and the back, and then the amps mount to this, and then it's got a cover piece that goes over this, and then another ring that goes over top of that. So it's kind of a complex system. Okay, so this is the way it was before, and what I wanted to be able to do is access those inner panels. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have, we're uh, joining magnets. I can't find my magnet. If it wasn't for losing stuff, I wouldn't have stuff. So we're gonna drill this like this. Use this as a pilot. We're gonna mark this just so I know where the holes are. Now we'll take this top piece out. And then we will put our magnet marks in there too. Little part there. And so then we know to leave this much open here. That gives you enough room to kind of reach in there and change your tail lights if you need to without taking the whole back of the car apart. And we just got to grind out enough to kind of set this flush in there. So let's just go ahead and do that real quick. Look at that, boy, that's perfect. Bing bong. All right, let's do the other one. All right, so I never really thought I would need a cordless saw until I had to go pick up lumber that didn't fit in my truck. And then I thought, you know what? It's time to buy a new skill saw. This Milwaukee, oh my God, this thing is so good. It's so powerful. Anyway, let's do some unsafe shit. The back end. We put the adjoining washer on here, and then this will just magnetize. It's amazing how much dust is created from MDF. All right. Are these considered screws or bolts? I don't know. Uh, I'll put the link in. This is the MRV F3000, F300, MRV F300 by Al, probably tomorrow. So I think it's sort of easier to visualize now for what this is all gonna look like with this ring here on there. So the amp wiring will be completely hidden. It has a little cover that goes over the amps, which I think is really nice. You won't see the wiring, it'll run down through here. I'll make some little holes in there. And then this, of course, I'm not sure, like I, like I, like I posted on TikTok, uh, if I'm gonna put, if I'm gonna make these painted, or if I am gonna do them just wrapped. I, I think painting, I think that's kind of the way to go, but I'm curious what everybody else thinks. What do y'all think? Painting is more work, but it's gonna, I think it was gonna look a lot better. And uh, yeah, so let me know. Anyway, check it out. What do you think? Tomorrow I've got some new products coming that's gonna make wiring up the amps and all the speakers so nice. So nice for when you're working on it, and also so nice for when you have to, if you ever have to do any work again, it won't be confusing. You're gonna really dig this. You're gonna want one of these. Check it out. Anyway, hey, thanks for following the channel. Thanks for watching the videos. I appreciate it all.
All right, so that's a wrap on this one. Check it out. There's the trunk all, all leathered up. You're gonna have the filler panel over there, like we talked about earlier. That one's on there by magnets. That's on there by magnets. Even this is on here by magnets. So the amps will be wired up this week. Love it. Tell me what you think.